नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मंदार भानुशे एंड वी आर बैक विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव सीन हाउ टू ड्रॉ लीनियर इक्वेशंस एंड आल्सो हाउ टू स्केच लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज बट इन दोस वीडियोस वी हैव यूज्ड द सॉफ्टवेयर जियोजेब्रा बट प्रैक्टिकली व्हेन यू विल बी गिविंग योर एग्जामिनेशंस एंड यू विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग यू विल बी डूइंग इट ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर विद अ पेन एंड पेंसिल एंड अ स्केल so therefore what we have decided that we will do two lectures two video lectures uh, where we will be doing the sketching of linear inequations and the first this video will be actually doing drawing of linear equations and uh, then we'll do one more video on solving linear programming problems using graphs so let us begin this video by understanding how the xy plane is and how do we plot points on the xy plane and then we will see how to draw lines on a graph paper using scale pen and pencil let's begin so as you can see in this graph paper we have drawn two lines here the horizontal line which you see here this horizontal line is called as x axis and the vertical line which you see is called as the y axis so normally we denote the horizontal line by x and the vertical line by y the intersection of this x and y axis is this point here at the center which is called as the origin and therefore it is always denoted by the alphabet 0 or o so o stands for origin and the coordinates of this is 0 comma 0 so that is how we denote the origin of this x and y axis intersection now any point on this xy plane has two coordinates say we have for example let us take this point here then this point is of two coordinates one coming from the x axis and one coming from the y axis let us write down the numbers on the x axis towards the right of the origin we have positive numbers let us say 1 2 c and so on similarly on the top of this origin point are the positive numbers of y axis so we can write the numbers 1 here similarly 2 3 and so on on the left of the axis x axis we have the negative points so we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this whereas on the bottom of this origin point on the y axis we have the negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on this is how the number line x and y axis the numbers are represented now if i want to write down this point 1 in terms of two coordinates x coordinate and y coordinate we know that this point 1 is on the x axis and therefore the coordinates here will be one coming from the x axis and because there is no y coordinate here so this will be 1 comma 0 so always remember a point is represented by two numbers a and b for example a comes from the x axis and b comes from the y axis we'll see all the different examples of points similarly this point 3 for example this has the number 3 on the x axis so its x coordinate is 0 and therefore its y coordinate will be x coordinate will be 3 and the y coordinate will be 0 similarly this number 3 here if this is a the point on the y axis then we know that because it is on y axis its x coordinate will be 0 and its y coordinate will be 3 so like this we can represent all numbers every point so take any point let us take this point on the x y axis plane or this point on this plane or this point here or this point here it will be always represented by a pair of two numbers okay x the first number coming from the x axis called as the x coordinate and the next number coming from the y axis called as the y coordinate so this is how the this is the basic of x y plane to revise the horizontal line is called as the x axis the vertical line is called as the y axis intersection point is the origin o and the coordinates of origin are 0 comma 
each point is represented by two numbers. The first number of this pair comes from the x axis called as the x coordinate and the other number which comes from the y axis is called as the y coordinate. Now, one more important thing to understand that if we want to draw a line, then what is the requirement? Okay. So, let us take an example. Now, this is a line which I have drawn here. If I want to draw any line, okay, what is required? We require two points on the line. Once we know two points, any two points, so let, let, us, let us take this example, this point and this point. If we know these two points, call it as A and B, then we have to plot these two points. on the xy plane and the third step will be to join the two points to make a line. So, if you want to draw a line, what are the different three steps? The step number one is to identify two points on the line, step number two is to plot two points on the xy plane and step number three is to join these two points and draw the line. We will see uh, four examples wherein we will take four different equations of lines and then we will plot the points first and then we will draw the line. Let us do it. So, let us take an example of a linear equation x plus 2y equal to 8. As I said, there are three steps to draw a line on the graph paper. The first step is to identify two points. Now, there is a common simple technique which we use to find out or to identify two points on a line. Let us see that example. So, what we do is we draw two lines like this and two vertical lines like this. Okay. So, all of you should do this when you want like to plot the points. And what we do here is we write down x here, we write down y here and we write down the point x comma y. So, make this a habit of drawing, making a similar kind of diagram whenever you would like to plot a line. What we do is, as I said, a very simple technique is that we, this, this is representing the x coordinate, this is representing the y coordinate and this represents the point on the graph paper. So, what we do is, we put the value of x as 0 first time, find the value of y, and the second we put value of y as 0 and then find the value of x. So, let us put the value of x as 0 in this equation here. So, if I put x equal to 0 here, we have 0 plus 2 into y equal to 8. So, we have 2 into y equal to 8. So, if I just divide by 2 on both the sides, this will be 8 upon 2 which is equal to 4. So, what is the value of y? Value of y is 4. So, what is the point 0 comma 4. Similarly, what we do now in the next to find the other point is put the value of y as equal to 0. When you put y value 0 in this equation, we have x plus 2 into 0 equal to 8, x 2 into 0 is 0, so x plus 0 is equal to 8, we have x equal to 8. So, what is the value of x here? 8 and what is the point 8 comma 0. So, this is your step number 1. What is the step number 1 as I said? To find out two points on the line. So, once we have the two points 0, 4 and 8, 0, the step number 2 is to plot these two points on the graph paper. So, we have this graph paper here. This is our origin O. So, we have this x axis here and we have this y axis. And on the x axis, let us have these points as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we can have n number of such points. On the y axis, let us have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, when you are plotting the points, 
always you will not get numbers which are between 0 to 10 kind of you may get huge big numbers also in that case i'll tell you in one of the other example how do we do the adjustment how do we identify the points on the graph paper and how do we plot it now in this example we have the first point as 0 comma 4 as you can see so where is the point 0 comma 4 the point 0 comma 4 is x is equal to 0 and x is 0 and y is 4 so it will be on the y axis so this is the point here so this point is 0 comma 4 and uh, the other point is 8 comma 0 where 8 is on the x axis and 0 is the y coordinate that means the point is on the x axis so this is your point here which is 8 comma 0 so once you have two points let us call this point as a and this point as b how do we draw the line we just take the scale put the scale in a proper angle which will touch both the points a and b and simply draw the line passing through points a and b this what we have drawn here okay this line is your line x plus 2y equal to 8 okay let us do one more example to understand this better let us see this example number 2 now here we have the equation of the line 3x plus 4y equal to 12 what is the first step the first step is to identify the two points so we will plot again the same kind of diagram where we have this lines 1 and 2 and 3 and then we have like this so we'll write down x here y here and then we'll write down x comma y so let us again do the same calculation and first put x equal to 0 in this equation so in this equation let us put x equal to value of x as 0 so we have 3 into 0 plus 4 into y equal to 12 3 into 0 is 0 so we have 4 into y equal to 12 divided by 4 we have y is equal to 12 upon 4 which is equal to 3 so what is the y coordinate y coordinate is 3 so what is the point point is 0 comma 3 similarly we now put y value as 0 the y coordinate as 0 here so this will become 0 what will be the calculation 3 into x plus 4 into 0 is equal to 12 4 into 0 is 0 so we have 3 into x equal to 12 divide by 3 x is equal to 12 by 3 which is equal to 4 so what is the x coordinate 4 so what is the point 4 comma 0 so this is our step number 1 we have got two points 0 comma 3 and 4 comma 0 let us go to the graph paper and we have again drawn the similar kind of x axis and y axis this is your origin point o whose coordinates are 0 comma 0 this is your x axis your y axis let us have the points as 1 2 3 4 5 what is the x value least value is 0 highest value is 4 so we are okay with 1 2 3 4 5 here on the y axis we have the least value as 0 highest value is 3 so we can have 1 2 and 3 that's all is enough but let us have 4 and 5 also what is the first step now after this first step is to identify the points second step is to plot the points so what is the point here 0 comma 3 so this is a point which we have to plot 0 3 0 means x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 3 so this is your point 0 3 let us write down 0 comma 3 and the other point is 4 comma 0 so x coordinate is 0 this is the point 4 here so we have this is 4 comma 0 let us call this as point a and this as point b so step number 2 is over what is the step number 3 just connect these two points with the scale and draw a line passing through these two points this what we have drawn is your line 3x plus 4y equal to 12 let us see two more examples 
and then I'll give you some examples in the video description which you can solve yourself. Now let us see examples where we have equations like this. Say for example, we have the equation x equal to 5 or we have an equation for example y equal to 7. Now what are these? These are also lines. These are linear equations. But this linear equation say for example x is equal to 5 has no y coordinate. That means what? The points on this line pass through the point 5 comma 0 which is on the x axis. So if this is the point phi comma 0 on the x axis then this line x equal to 5 is nothing but the line which passes through this point phi equal phi 0 and which is parallel to this y axis. So you just draw a line parallel to y axis passing through x equal to phi. So this is example which I wanted to show you this is your line x equal to phi. So all lines like this which are represented with x equal to 5. Say, let me write down one more example here and you can try it yourself. Suppose I write x equal to 8. What will, how will you draw this line x equal to 8? Just think it. Yes, so it just plot this point say 8 comma 0 on the x axis and draw a line which is parallel to the y axis. So all these lines x equal to whatever you write, these are lines which are parallel to y axis passing through the point on the x axis. Let us plot this point y equal to 7 on the similar lines. So now we have this y equal to 7. So let us say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is your point 0, 7. So any point on this y axis will be having x coordinate 0. And now you want to draw the line which is passing through 0, 7. Obviously, it will be line which will be parallel to x axis. So, how do you draw lines like this? Just take, take the line parallel to x axis and take the scale towards this point and draw the line passing through this 0, 7. This line what you have drawn which is parallel to x axis is the line y equal to Similarly, I am sure you will be able to draw lines for example y equal to 4 or y equal to 1. What are these lines? These are the lines which are parallel to x axis and pass through say for example let us take y equal to 1, 0, 1 or if you want to draw y equal to 4 then this is 0, 4. Draw a line parallel to x axis. This is a line y equal to 4. So try to do these kind of problems, uh, some exercises I have given in the description which you can try and in the next video lecture now we will try to understand and draw and sketch not linear equations but linear inequations which we have already seen but those we have seen through the software GeoGebra. In the next video lecture we will see how to sketch linear inequations on the graph paper using pen, pencil and Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe our all videos in the YouTube channel. See you. Bye.